I've been screaming about this forever that I I think ninety percent of all rappers are gay. I completely agree. And I'm also going to say this about uh, DJs also. Oh, I'm, dude. I'm lumping them in there. I would say the percentage is a little higher with them. Now, when I'm saying gay, I'm saying homosexual. Mm-hmm. I'm saying a homosexual. Okay. Yep. And let me be clear. I got no problems with homosexuals. I'm just saying rappers are gay. Yeah. And they yeah. refuse to admit it. Right. Now, but they refuse, but there's they're constantly coming out. Now, there's a million gay rappers now. You know, oh, like yeah. Lil Nas X. You yeah. heard of that one? No. I mean, he's way gay. You know, no. he's super gay. But uh, well, it's funny when you see the flamboyant ones, and you're like, yeah, yeah, yeah. But when you see a, a kind of manly looking dude, and then he does something, you're like, oh, my gaydar just went off, dude. Yeah, I know you're one of them. Yeah, but I mean, um, uh, Suge Knight's been talking about it forever. He's like, he's like, man, all these fools getting their fucking cheeks blown out. That's exactly what he said on Howard Stern, actually. <laughs> I remember that. Shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's talking about all their and and I, it's always sparking. I go, I always thought rappers were gay because the music is so over the top. Yeah. Say machismo, I guess you could say, yeah. right? It's over the top. And, you know, it, it seems like... We don't love no hoes. It, it, Although it's, it's like, hell yes, dude. <laughs> 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 you know, it always seems like the, it's the dude that you least expect because he's always surrounded by hot chicks, you know? Yeah. In their videos, they got fucking millions of dollars, which I, I've already learned that that's just uh, that's fucking prop too. money. Yeah, yeah it's, prop it's money. just prop money. Yeah. And, uh, you know, being surrounded by chicks, they think that nobody's going to question that. But there's a few things that you do that I'm like, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah. I knew it. I mean, I mean, uh, and we we agree. We like Tupac. Tupac's probably yep. the best out there, yeah, right? definitely. One of the best. He's gay. Yep. Hey, guys, I, I don't care what you say. He's gay. Yeah. I mean, he was best friends with uh, Jada Pinkett Smith. What does that tell you about his, uh, his oh, choice in fucking people? There you man? go. But <laughs> look at the video where he's like, my mama, I'm just like my mama. I, I'm arrogant, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah. That's a gay man. Yeah, and I'm telling you, there's that one song that it goes, it, 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 it only takes a man to satisfy a man or some shit yeah. like that in, in the background of a song. And the first time I heard that, I told my buddy Robert, he <laughs> loved Tupac. You know, he's like, what the fuck, dude? And I was like, I told you, dude. I heard it, man. I thought I was tripping when I heard it, but yeah. I fucking heard it. But it, again, rappers, it's okay. Yeah, we don't care. Just come out already. Yeah. Stop trying to be somebody else. Yeah, come out already. You know, I, actually, if you told people you're gay, you'd probably sell more albums. Absolutely. That's why that, that fucking little Nas X dude, that dude's on the top of the charts. Oh, I bet. Yeah. Yeah, gay as fuck. Yeah. Yeah, and the, <clears throat> and the rapper The Game... the. Uh, made many articles that said look i don't care uh who's gay but he's he's going uh all these rappers need to come out that they're gay yeah you know well i i always thought there was something really suspect with them especially even in the the early 90s and shit when easy e was talking shit about him he's like these fucking studio gangsters you know fuck these little bitches they're not even and then i really looked at it did you ever see the one where dr dre where it shows dr dre Dressed up like a fucking fruit pop. No. Because he used to be in like this like dance boy band kind of weird shit, dude. Yeah. So, so he, in the Easy E song, fucking real motherfucking G's, you'll see it flash real quick and it's, it's fucking Dre with this huge smile wearing this like rhinestone cowboy fucking outfit <laughs> shit. And he's like, how'd you go from that shit? You know, you look like a fucking, you look like a girl to now you're the king of the chronic and shit. Yeah. And I was like, oh, yeah, because that's what he had to move into to sell fucking albums, dude. Because he ain't yeah. going to make no money looking like that fool did it. I mean, it's all it's all business. You yeah. know, you, like it's like, you know, uh, you know, uh, fucking uh, Tupac was in theater school. You oh, know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. Like Let's not play that he's a thug, dude. You're yeah. a fucking theater major, dude. Yeah. Well, he, he did movies too. Right? Yeah. 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 Well, look, I ain't, look again. I ain't mad at you. Your yeah. your boy's trying to get hired, also. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> but I'm just saying, like, but I ain't, you know, I'm not. I could I could guarantee you, I'm doing nothing gay to get hired. For but sure. you, you do know one of the funniest, pe- not yet, funniest uh, stories I heard about Tupac is how he uh, he was fucking Madonna, yeah. and uh, fucking. Another rapper hit him up and was like, yo, man, I need some fucking weed, dude. I'm fucking dying. He's like, I'll be right there. Fucking rolls up Madonna's in his car, and he's like, is that what I fucking think of? Yeah. He's like, hell yeah, I fucked that shit earlier, dude. <laughs> you know, but, but ooh, is that just a story? Yeah. No, no, just because you're having sex with girls don't mean you're not having sex with guys. Well, that's true, too, but there's a lot of that, too, where it's like, where it's like, where it's like, no, nah, he's married. Yeah, yeah uh, but, yeah, but look. There's yeah. So is Mick, I'm sorry to say it. The guy, so is Mick Jagger. He was married. There's too. no bisexual men. They're gay. Yeah, definitely. They're gay. Yeah. That's how. 
And that's just how, and it's, and again, it's okay. And there's no such thing as chicks with dicks. It's only guys with fucking tits. Yeah, right? yeah, so like no, yeah, yeah. Was, as soon as he said, I was like, "Amen, brother." There's no chicks with tits. It's only guys, guys with tits. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, "Ah, oh, I got a problem." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. But but I will, and and uh, a new a new DJ uh, Diplo. You ever heard of Diplo? No. I just heard of him from podcasts, but yeah. he's coming out going, going. I don't know if I'm gay or not. I did let a man suck my dick one time. Yeah, you're gay, dude. Yeah, you're gay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You need friends like us to be like, dude, you're gay. Yeah, it's, it's all right. And this is true. He goes, yeah. I mean, I do enjoy watching men uh, use axes and stuff on on like chopping wood and stuff. <laughs> and I'm like, yeah, dude, you're gay, dude. You're gay. So I'm I'm gonna go out on a limb. I'm gonna say eighty percent of DJs. These dance club DJs are gay, nah. and eighty percent of rappers are gay. I'm saying that right now. Yeah. I'm saying on record again, and I've had these arguments with my family. Yeah, you know, <laughs> I, my, but with with my brother and my dad, they won't have it. Yeah. I, I go, I go, Dad, they're gay. They're they're gay, Dad. I, I'm telling you, I've heard, and I've no, I know rappers. I've met rappers throughout my life where they'll be like, Yeah, that motherfucker's gay as fuck, yeah. dude. Yeah. Dude, it, it was fucked up. There was this one time uh, me and my old lady were watching this flick. I don't even know what the hell it was, but it was uh, these football players and shit, like fucking big beefy dudes and shit, and they would fuck each other, and they would call it keeping it on the low. And my wife, like, as soon as they I was like, oh, turn this fucking shit off, man. I want to watch this. So every time she'd fuck with me and she'd be like, what, you're trying to keep it on the low, man? <laughs> like, man, fuck you, dude. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, man. Uh, it, it is... But again, guys, it's okay. Don't be homophobic. Let it out. Yeah, you know, let it out, guys. Fuck, how many people have have come out? You know? Let I it mean, out, gay rappers. You know, shit. I I, I knew, I, and you know, and especially the white rappers, Machine Gun Kelly. That dude's, that dude's definitely gay, gay as, as fuck, fuck dude. dude. And he's like, he's with Megan Fox, and you're like, so what? Yeah, because she uses that thumb that she's got in his ass. Dude. She is a piece of ass, though, isn't she? Dude, she oh, is, but that fucking God. thumb, bro, I can't get over that thing. Have you ever seen What are you, what are you talking about, her, thumb? Her thumb looks like a toe. It's fucking hammer toed on her. Dude, it's like a big fucking lollipop. She has a, let me look that up. Yeah, dude, you got to see it, dude. Let me it, look that it's up. fucked up, bro. Once I seen it, I couldn't unsee it. <laughs> I couldn't unsee it? <laughs> yeah, dude. And I kept I kept thinking about that claw going towards oh, my now, cock. See, now we got fast internet. We got Google to her oh, there you go. right, let, let, Let's see. Megan Fox's thumb. Yeah, dude. It'll just, <laughs> it's going to zoom in on it, too, dude. You're going to see how Fox fucked up it is. Thumb. All right, don't hype it up. It better be crazy. <laughs> dude, it is. Let's see what we got. Let's see what we got. God damn, is she a piece of ass, though, she man. She is. But, God damn. But that's a toe on her thumb, dude. God damn. Maybe she had, like, surgery or something. Why isn't... Let me hit these images. No, I think they says because she used to bite and suck on her thumb a lot when she was a kid. Nice. Biting, yeah. Nice. You know what they say about oh, that. Oh, yeah, dude. She got that uh, oral fixation. All right, so she's got a wonky thumb, though. Like, who, who cares? Oh, it does look like a toe. Dude. <laughs> dude, but if you've seen that... That is hideous. That's if, a hideous thumb, dude. If you've seen that thumb wrap around your shaft, dude, you'd be like, ah, dude. You'd feel like it was Schmeagle from Lord of the Rings grabbing at you. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa. Yeah. That's a weird thumb. I told you, dude. Man, that's wild. Yeah, it fucked me up, dude, because cause I, I found that out slightly after uh, she was in that Transformers flick, dude, where she was, yeah. and she was bent over. She's in a motorcycle shop. You know, everything your boy likes, dude. Yeah. And then fucking one of my boys was like, man, you seen her thumb, right? And I was like, no, nah, why? Let me check it out. And I looked, and I was like, oh, God damn it. Yeah. You know, all right, well, she's she's a ten, but she got a hammer thumb. <laughs> yeah, that's that's a ten butt right yeah. there. Yeah, a ten butt, but it has a hammer thumb. I'm going with it. Ah, you know, you can stick that hand under her pillow. I'm going with it, dude. Did I, <coughs> did I ever tell you about the 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 girl in Oregon? I was gonna get it. She had like she had two fingers. She was gonna try to give me a handy. She had two. She lost the other ones. Yeah, she she had uh, actually it was three. I think she it was like like she had like a hand like that, and I didn't know that. And we were we went I, yeah. we were in Oregon. It was with shot down. We were in Oregon, and uh, and and uh, we were all hooking up with chicks from the from the party we played at. And we went back to their house, and I was talking with this girl. And we were flirting and looking through Rolling Stone magazines and shit. And she went to I had the magazine on my lap. She went to turn the page. I didn't ever even notice her hand looked like take my strong hand, child. Yeah. You know, just like yes. and I completely just recoiled, dude. I was like, oh, oh I don't want that thing oh, anywhere near. No. I was like, oh, oh no, oh I don't know what to do from here. So I acted like I drank too much. I just went to sleep. 
<laughs> acted like I drank too much, you know. Uh, you know, you gotta do what you gotta do. Oh, I was, she was very nice too. I was, you know, she probably knows. Like, you know what the fuck? <laughs> but I was like, I cannot picture I that wrapped around my dick, dude. I can't, can't do it. Can't do it. There's no way. That was the same night though. I, uh, fucking Al hooked up with, with a dick, <laughs> and I did. I did actually fall asleep on that couch, and he's he's annihilating this chick right next to me on the fucking couch, dude. <laughs> And I'm, I wake up going, what the, the fuck, dude? You know, and then I, I, I actually didn't want to disturb him, so I was like, fuck, I'll let him do it. You know, I'm going to say the funny thing. I hope he doesn't get mad that I'm telling this story. But it, it, and uh, so he's he's having at it, right? So all I can do is hear it because I'm keeping my eyes closed. You know, I'm just sitting there. Like. <laughs> and, and then uh, all I hear is, uh, 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 crash, crash. Ah, motherfucker. Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> so he banged his, his shin into the coffee table <laughs> with his pants around his ankles <laughs> and he's jumping around like a dick. Uh, son, uh, son of a bitch. Yes. <laughs> and, like, and she's like, you okay? He's like, shut the fuck up. <laughs> Hopping around. Like, hey, fucking, uh, <laughs> fucking oh, that's the fucking funniest thing, man. Oh shit! Oh, hell yeah! On that tour, that was we we had to we needed a place to stay because we didn't make enough money to to have a hotel. So we somebody had to hook up with the chick. Didn't matter who. Oh, somebody yeah. had to. Yep. Somebody. Al was great at that though. He'll, he'll, be, he'll be like, you mean that giant chick over there? No problem. Yeah. <laughs> it's like I got you. <laughs> yeah. No. I go. That's that's you, Al. You you got to do that yeah, one. Buddy. Jump on that grenade for me, bro. Yeah, I I almost jumped on a, a major grenade too, but uh uh. Our guitar player at the time wouldn't let me do it. No. Like I, I was in the bedroom, and I was just, I was like, "Hey, I'm taking it for the team, man." And he was like, "I can't let you do it." And comes <laughs> no, we didn't. No. This poor girl too. She was like, it's, "I mean, that's got to be insulting as fuck, dude." He's like, "I can't let you do it, man." Like, let's put it this way: my hands would not touch the bed. It was just, oh, I was shit. surfing, baby. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know. There was, there was one time uh, I was in the Navy, and this this friend of mine tried to set me up on this blind fucking date, dude. First and only time that I've ever been on one, right? And there's a reason for that, dude. When I saw this chick, dude, she was not only fat as fuck, she had no titties at all, and she had a fucking mole with fucking, you know, like the three hairs coming out of it. And I was like... Yeah, if you're a big girl, like, you gotta have something. There was cans. no There was no ass at all. There was no fucking, no tits. Yeah. And that fucking mole... Dude, I looked at him with like, hair in it. Yeah, had fucking like three spikes, like from out. a movie or yeah, something. Pretty much. Why do you think she didn't handle that? Why do you think she doesn't pluck the hairs out of her face? Was she I, younger? Yeah, she yeah. was. She was younger, but I I think she's just used to being ugly and never looked at by dudes, so she didn't really give a rat's ass. She's like, I just let it. What's go. What's up, buddy? Is he okay? Yeah. Oh, he did he drop his bone? Oh, in the crack right there. Yeah, grab that. Grab his bone for him, dude. <laughs> yeah, Baron. Baron got some fucking beef bones, baby. He's hooked up. I'm giving him a. Uh, he gets a treat because he's got a little. He had like a cyst that opened up on his arm, dude. It like exploded, and so he's got this little hole in his arm. And we had to we had to patch that shit up. He's got a bunch of all the fur that's behind the couch. Shit, dude. Yeah, uh, thanks, Baron, for interrupting our wonderful stories of giant fat chicks. <laughs> hey, but 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 by the way, uh, I think the the older I get too, I got no problem with with bigger women. You know what I mean? Yeah. I think the the older you get, you appreciate. I appreciate confidence in a woman, like major confidence. I'm I'm really appreciating that these days, and not because of like woman power. I don't give a fuck, dude. But like. The way, like, a, when a woman carries herself, even as a big woman, is pretty sexy to me. Well, what I've always said, dude, with fat chicks, dude, you know one thing? They can cook. Yeah. Uh, well, and they can suck a dick. That's not necessarily true, by the way. That they can cook? Yes. How do they get that big if they can't cook? Because they're eating garbage all the time. Well, that, that's true. Yeah, if they can cook, usually, the, you know, they, they're preparing something that isn't fucking McDonald's, although McDonald's is incredible. I had it the other day. Oh, my God. Yeah, every once in a great while, dude, I get that fucking hankering for the fucking McDoubles, dude. I was starving. I had, I had an hour and a half drive to Hollywood. I grabbed two double cheeseburgers, a 10-piece, and ate it all in the car. Fuck it was yeah. incredible. Yeah. I, I had a blast. Yeah. I, go, I'm, I go, I'm having a wonderful time <laughs> just sitting in traffic. <laughs> Hey, fuck everybody else. Yeah. 
<laughs> yeah, dude. But um, yeah, during that, during that tour. Oh no, I'm mixing up. I'm mixing up tours. But yeah, def, there was. We stayed when I was playing with White Flag down. We were in San Antonio, I think. I'll never forget this chick. She was she was nice. You know, she was like a like a skinhead chick, and she let us stay at the at the house. You know, and uh, there was she let the dogs just take a shit in the house, and never picked it up. And like I woke up. Like, I, I woke up, and I was like, oh, oh, shit, okay, a little present out here. Yeah. All right. And then I, I go and tell her. She she goes, oh, okay, and does nothing about it. And I'm like, should we start, should we pick it up? And then our singer was in the other room because he slept in one of the other bedrooms. He's like, hey, there's, there's shit in here, man. I go, she just leaves shit. Oh, that's foul. I mean, she was no prize. Yeah, you know? but, I mean, she was but bit- still, I mean, you know, you, you don't want to smell shit. You don't shit where you eat. Isn't yeah. that wild? That Isn't is. That- like that's fucking, that is, dude. That, that's in. That's insane, dude. Ugh. That's insane. Yeah. Man. Ma- imagine trying to cook some eggs in the morning, dude, and just fucking smelling dog shit. Fuck that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> can I? Hey, can I tell one more Al story? Yeah. yeah, yeah can yeah. I do that? <laughs> <laughs> so, so Al's a freak. We know it. Yeah. And so, um, he's our brother. Yeah, he's our boy. And so we were we were playing a string of shows in Oregon, and the the uh, the manager out there that was booking. Uh, was partying with us, so he set up a line of parties and backyard parties and club shows and whatever, and so we were doing all those. Anyways, he he goes, hey, I like to, I like to uh, swing with my girl, so like if if you guys are in, you know, you pick up a chick, fucking do some swinging. So Al picks up, you know, so Al's like, fuck yeah, dude, I'm in, and we're staying we're staying at his house. So Al picks up a girl, and the the four of them go in the room, and they're doing their thing. Well. Little does this guy from Oregon know that Al's a freak and he don't <laughs> give a fuck about you, dude. Hit it like a caveman, dude. <laughs> and so he's just he. So he. So they they do a swapping, and Alan starts in with with his girl, and he's just he's planting her face, ah, you know, just <laughs> just like just mean dogging her, man. And the dude actually get and the dude finished early, I guess. Oh, and Jesus. Alan just still, he's boom, still at boom, it. Yeah, just, talking, just acting like he's not even in, the guy's not even in the room, dude. And the guy comes out and we're it's just so lame. Like it's we're in the living room, uh, uh, watching TV, eating his spaghetti and shit. And I'm just I'm literally sitting on the floor for some reason. I'm sitting on the floor eating spaghetti. Why that memory is seems <laughs> like what am I a five year old? I think they were, we were playing PlayStation or yeah. something and. And anyways, uh, he comes out, and, I, and I'm like, uh, "Should I? I'm not gonna say his name. I, I'm gonna I'm gonna change his name." I, 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 go, I go, "Hey, Patrick, what's up, man?" He, he goes, "Man, I've never heard my fucking girl scream like that." Yeah, yeah. Well, you, I, never, I, you never plowed her I, like that I, either. I go, I go, "How's it? How's this going in there?" Oh, oh, nothing. Just your drummer's fucking my girl, like angry, uh. and goes storming out. I'm like, "Ah, oh, that didn't work out. Nope. I think the way he planned." <laughs> I was like, shit, man. I don't think we'll be talking probably <laughs> ever, ever again. I think it was all everything ended up okay, but he was he was salty. That dude was salty after oh, that. Yeah, I don't like. I, I think I think there's rules to that swapping though. I, I think there's uh, rules to it, right? I wouldn't even get involved in it because I always feel like something like that's gonna happen. Oh, I mean, I, for the most part, every three way I've ever been in has turned into a disaster. Yeah, yeah. No, there's only one that I was in. But it technically wasn't a three-way. So I was in my A school, and I bang out this chick. It right? wasn't the devil's three-way, right? No, no, no. Okay. No, I, I bang out this chick, and her, her friend just got banged out by one of my dudes, you know. But she had a nice, fat ass on her. So the the girl that I'm banging out, she just, after she busts, she just fucking, you know, we were drinking all night and yeah. shit, so she just fucking knocks out. So I'm looking at that other chick's ass, and I'm like, oh, that's fucking great. She's like, oh, you like that? And I was like, oh, fuck yeah, man. So I start fucking plowing fields, do like a caveman and yeah. shit. The other broad wakes up, so I dive into this little little slot in between the wall and the bed and shit. She wakes up. She goes, where's Justin at? And her friend goes, I don't know. I think he went out to go get a bucket of ice. She goes, ah. Falls well, back asleep. I go back to plowing that broad to jump back into bed with the original broad, so that way when we wake up in the morning, you know, I'm still right there. Well, the original broad, were you dating her? Or? No, 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 no. These are just whores that, that were in the Navy, too. But you didn't want to offend her? Is, yeah, that, is yeah. that what the deal is? I didn't want her to. Well, long story short. <laughs> They had a crew of, like, six different girls. By the end of the second week, I fucked all of them. But none of them would tell each other until one day I'm walking out, and they're coming in, and they're all like, they're like, <laughs> you know, like, pointing yeah. over at me. And I was like, what's up? And one of them goes, you fuck great. And I was like, 
Oh shit! They all they all know. Fuck! Here I Boy, these are these are some nice young ladies, yeah. huh? <laughs> nice young scholars from Brown, I'm sure, Brown University. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Although I'd be like, hey, thanks, yeah, appreciate uh, that. But I was like, oh shit! They, they all know. Well, fuck! I, was, I mean, they are friends, but I I thought they were trying to keep it hush hush between each other. You know, they're probably cool with it, man. Yeah. You know, there, there's definitely a group of girls that are they're all about it. But but, but you know, you plow that's girls. Hard to find. You, yeah. pl- you plow girls right, and sometimes you you catch them Klingons, dude. You know, I don't know if I know about that. Oh, I, I've I've had. Some I never plow to, them right. <laughs> I've had some trying to cling on, dude. Years later down the road, they'll somehow find me on social media and shit, and like, hey, what's going on? Fucking married. I've, yeah, I've had a, f- I've actually had a few that have left some terrible messages, say under a picture or a yeah. video that's online or something, saying some bullshit about me, and I'm like, oh, how dare you? Yeah, you know, yeah. It's like, how, oh. how how pitiful? How pitiful? You you just ignore it. You yeah. just you just move along. Yeah, like, come on now. Yeah, but I mean, uh, uh, every three way. Well, yes, please. It depends. It depends if you, like. Okay, I'm gonna give you guys some advice. If you're like actually dating a woman, don't do you're, no you're dating ways. a lady. Yeah. And you are going to do the three-way. It's not about you anymore. It's about the girl you're dating. She needs to make you need to make sure she's having fun. Don't focus on the other chick the whole time. Oh yeah, they, you're yeah. smoothly going to fuck yourself. Then she's going to turn into an angry dude. Because that's what happens is because you've already been banging your girl forever, and then you get into the three-way, and you're like, ooh, something new. Yep. The girl doesn't take it that way, man. It's a disaster. Oh yeah, I'm she's telling take you, it like I knew you wanted to. Fuck other girls the whole time and not me. Yeah, I'm telling you, it's it's more of a test than it is for pleasure. Because we're like, ah, we're gonna have this will be fun. Ah, this will just be fun, and, we're, and then and we'll be done. No, this is a test. Yep. Yeah. Definitely. So so don't fail the yep. test, you fucking dummies. <laughs> yeah. Don't step on that grenade. Because you, you know don't you have to. Because you know you guys are, are are dummies. Guys are dumb. Oh yeah. Guys are dumb, and this is what I was explaining to Jenna too, by the way. Because what were we watching? We we're watching something where the the chicks, uh, and we were watching something where the, the chicks would run scams on rich guys. You know what I mean? Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I, can't, I don't remember if it was a documentary, a show, I, to be honest. And then Jen and I got in a conversation. I go, it is a battle between men and women, and especially celebrities and super hot chicks. It's a battle. It's war. Oh, yeah. Here's the war. Because, uh, a man, see, men don't understand that she's... It's not about having fun and sex. She doesn't care about fun. It's about getting what you have. It's about getting you. Yep. And and getting what you have. And and if you're married, she wants to be the person to start that drama. She will gladly tell your wife that, that oh, you yeah. cheated. Oh yeah. So stay the fuck away. Be be fucking smart. Yeah. Don't shoot your own foot. Because uh, here's how guys think. If if ladies want, guys are like this. Would, this would just be fun. There there's zero emotional attachment. Yep. Ah, she's hot. This BJ will be fun. Yeah, she's doing. You're doing it for fun. She's doing it to to ruin your life. Yep, Definitely. that's exactly. It, it, now I'm saying I'm telling you, married fellas, married in relationships. You're you're a basketball player. Yep. You know what I mean? Yeah. Who's that dude that threw a hot sauce in his condom because of the broad? Drake? Yeah, it was Drake. Yeah. Yeah, I think he's gay though. Yeah, I think so too, dude. <laughs> Hit that light up up above. You see that yeah. that, that switch? Yeah. There we go. Yeah. Uh, but, yeah, that, that dude's smoothie gay. But I'm totally going. I'm going. This is this is a battle, guys. This yep. is a battle, and I and uh, and I I know I know what it is. I know I know what it is. You know, like like uh, we just played a sold out show at the Viper Room, right? Mm-hmm. I know what it is. I know when girls are being uber flirty with me. I get it. Yeah, it's a it's a it's a battle. Mm-hmm. And I I know what you're doing, and and it, you're like, ah, she's hot. Oh my god, she's hot, right? But she just, she's not like, I just want to have fun with you for two for a little bit. No, she's like, are you gonna give me the piece of blackmail that I need? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> right. I and it, it, she's not. It's not after me for money. She's after me for drama. Yep, that's what fuels it. Yeah, the drama. What right. she thinks I'm so hot that she can't resist herself. Nah. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. I know that's not the case. See, that's the problem with you fucking dummies, dude. That's the problem with dummies. Oh, she couldn't resist me. She, I must be fucking great looking to her. Yeah, yeah she couldn't nah, resist nah. me. Yeah, they can. They What they can't resist is the drama, you stupid idiots. Hey, sorry, son of a bitch. When you guys get caught, I go, you stupid idiots. <laughs> God damn you, man. 
No better. No better. Yeah, exactly. Pay for a whore, dude. You know? <laughs> I mean, uh, that's what you pay for, for them to leave. They no keep bullshit. their mouth shut. Yeah. No bullshit. They leave. Now, if you're a celebrity, okay, let's 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 put our, ourselves in these shoes. Okay, let's say like Tiger Woods celebrity. Perfect example. Mm-hmm. Perfect example. Now, Tiger Woods was wilding out. Yeah, yeah, I do. And God bless him. He should be. Because he's been... He's probably been under the thumb of this golf game and whatever his whole life. He's fucking Tiger Woods. Dude, his his uh, wife was pretty fucking smoking, though. I'm not going to lie. Yeah, but uh, he's done. I yeah. mean, it, look, they're all smoking. They're all smoking. Yeah. You know what I mean? But, I mean, you know you know what always fucking hurts me, though, is <laughs> when I see the dude cheated and you see who he cheated with and she's she's a one compared to the dude's ten wife. Right. And I'm like, why? I'll hey. tell you why. I'll tell you why. Go rub one out, dude. Uh, no, I know, but I'll tell you why. Yeah. That that uh, that five that that he was with, he could he can he can he spit on. He doesn't give a fuck. He gets to do some shit that he doesn't get to do a lot of times with these. No, he can. He can do whatever he wants. But well, I got you. You, you get got, what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. That's my theory on that. Is that good. there's something to that to where she, she can't. This woman can't believe she's with Tiger Woods. Yep. And he's getting off and on it. He's that. just fucking he's, and he can do whatever. Whatever just, the hell he wants. Whatever yeah. runs th- whatever weird shit's running through all your heads right now <laughs> yeah. that you like. He's like, it's going in your ear, bitch. Yeah. What <laughs> just think about it right now. Here we go. What weird shit do you guys like? Tick talk. Tick. Think about it. Right. We all got one. Yep. Me, not me, my weird shit's pretty it, it, it's 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 lame compared to what you mu- I, I watch porn. It's way Lamer than what you guys oh, yeah, deal with, especially the shit I've seen. People getting <laughs> choked and fucking slammed on the floor and shit like that. I'm like, I don't like violence with my sex. I don't, I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like rough. I don't either. Yeah, that's, uh, that is a, a. It doesn't make me uh, feel good to to ch- well, fucking I, put my hands around well, a chick's neck. Or well, anything uh, hold like on. That. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna be honest with you. Right. I, uh, I I do some choking. Some choking. Yeah, I do some choking. It, a lot it, of people do. It's a it's a light one. I got yeah. you, you get it in and then you release. Get in, release, but. When I'm saying rough, like where it's fast, you're hitting each other, or you well, know, like the- well, I'm gonna tell you a funny story. So I, I, I do pull hair. I got I got this friend, and uh, <laughs> I'm gonna change his name, but it rhymes with Josh. <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh! Yeah. And it was at my uh, my wedding to my ex wife, right? Well, it was the the wedding reception party and whatnot. So there's this this friend of my fucking my ex wife, and she was she's just known as a whore. She she'll tell you. Right, you know, right up front, she's like, "Oh yeah, I just love to suck dick," and I was like, hey, "You're a rarity, you know." But I already know how many dicks you suck. I ain't fucking going anywhere near that. And I tell my brother, I'm like, "Hey, when you see this girl, she's gonna try to fuck you." He goes, hey, "Yeah, that's fucking." And I was like, "She's got big jugs. She ain't a bad looking chick, yeah. and she's her personality is actually more like a dude." So I, that's why I was really good friends with her. So, dude, as soon as she saw this guy, boom, they go to the fucking back room. They're doing. Fucking blow, you know, if I can start getting at it and shit. Nice. And then he comes out, dude, and he's black, but he comes out fucking pale, more pale skin than I am. And, and I was like, what happened? He goes, she wanted me to choke her. And I was like, ooh, I don't know, man. That sounds like a setup. I don't think I do. And he's like, well, I did. But, it, you know, I just, I just did the motions, you know, put my hand oh, up. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Okay. <laughs> Hold on. Keep it rolling. Keep it rolling, Justin. Put my hands over, over her neck. And then all of a sudden she's like, I want you to hit me. And and then and he's like, no, no, I, I don't want to hit you. You're a chick, dude. You know, we're, we're supposed to be having some fun right now. I don't want to do that at all. I was like, son of a bitch, you told yourself you'd never be here again and look at you. Yeah, you know, but, okay, okay, let's let's be honest. You know, drinking and driving, not, let, let's not do it, right? It's not good. Right. But, I mean, okay, so you, you, there's nothing you can do. You got to get home sometimes, you know, you you got a family you got to take care of. You got to- Yeah, you made a commitment to that car that you were going to take <laughs> yeah. it home. You brought it there. Yeah, that car's going to get towed or whatever. Yep. You know, like, say, if it, I mean, it's all. Yeah, it's definitely getting towed most of the places that you park at. Yeah, and anytime someone's just like, uh, call an Uber. Call an Uber from fucking Hollywood. And, yeah, I'm going to take know. an Uber and then take an Uber back to drive my car back. It's going to cost me. F- Not only is it going to cost me, but my car's probably going to get towed. Yep, it's- and then that's going to cost you. Right. Right, it's it's good. I mean, and then you're just gonna be you know, that's just these are these are just things drunks say, I guess. <laughs> no, but but you know the the thing is though, is that's why cocaine should be a, uh, it should be legal, so that way you can just do a couple <laughs> lines real quick, bam! After drinking, fucking, it'll snap you right back into reality. Now you can probably drive like an ace. Yeah. Okay. Let's let's really think about that though. Say, 
drugs became legal. Not. Now, okay, and taxable, which I'm all about. Yep. Sure, let's tax it. Sure. Taxable, much like they did with weed and mushrooms and things, right? The most glorious part of that whole thing that I've already thought of is how many overdoses are going to happen right off the bat. And how much more clear would this world be, you know? Now, w- would there be overdoses? Because I I think that all these overdoses happen because they're bad drugs. They're, it's not an overdose. They're poisoned. There, the, there is those. Yeah. But I'm talking about, like, say they made heroin legal. People yeah. are going to overdose, dude. Motherfuckers are going to drop like flies. All of a sudden, traffic thins out. You <laughs> yeah. got a parking spot but, everywhere you go. Or they're yeah. just not leaving their house. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. If anyone knows people that do heroin, they're not exactly <laughs> they're, they're uh, not on the, time. Yeah, they're, <laughs> they're not the most uppity people. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. But, um, uh, w- like, would they overdose? Or is, would, it just be like, would it just be like if we got a batch, a batch of Percocets in here? I'm not going to overdose on it. I'm going to hit one, yep. watch some fucking Seinfeld and call it a day, and then my day's normal the next day and I'm not doing anything. But there's those, there are those people, and, and I used to be one of them. I got a, <clears throat> an addictive personality. You know, so now, do you? I, Hold and, on. And some things I do. Let, yeah, let's, have, like, let's have a discussion on that. Like, uh, you know, cigarettes. I'm fucking addicted to fucking nicotine. Sure. There's, sure. there's no doubt about that. I wouldn't necessarily say weed because I've, I've quit for fucking weeks on yeah. end, months on end. Didn't really fucking affect But if, if I go, okay, let, let, let's play this game. Uh, <clears throat> I'm, I'm, I'll give you $1,000 if if you don't smoke for two weeks. Can you do that? I probably could. That shit would be hard, though. Right, but, but like, you're able to do it. Well, okay, I'll give you $1,000 a week for a week. Every week you don't smoke, you get $1,000. Can you do it? I think if I had that kind of incentive, fuck yeah. Okay. Then, then to me, that's not being addicted. Being addicted means there's no way you can do that. Oh, yeah. I got you. You feel me? Yeah. But, you know, like like uh, after my motorcycle <clears throat> accident, I started getting all those oxys and all yeah. that shit. I got a, I got addicted for a little while, dude. For a little while, I was. that's all I really give a fuck about. I got shriveled up, skinny, yeah. fucked up looking, you know. And then after a while, you know, I cut myself off and I'm like, Man, you're starting to look like shit, dude. You don't you don't look like I, I probably weighed what 130 fucking pounds, dude. Oh, you know, you know. I well, mean. the the addiction uh, to opiates when you're taking it on a regular basis, especially for an injury, yeah, your body gets hooked to it. Yeah, and that's the scary part. Now, did your body get hooked to it, or did your mind get hooked to it? I think a little bit of both, because yeah. because I noticed when I wasn't on them, fuck, dude, that that fucking. Because you, you had I, a short fuse when yeah, you were not. Oh, yeah. And because I took them for so long, if, you know, fucking once I stopped taking them, I'm like, I felt like a pussy, dude. I'm like, I should be able to handle this pain, mm. you know? And here I am just fucking, you know, as soon as I feel a tiny little bit of pain, I'm like, oh, here goes another one. And then I, you know, I take so many throughout the day, I forgot how many I fucking took. Yeah. And I started fucking tallying my shit. Like, I'd put a little tally mark on a piece of paper, and one day I fucking ate like nine of those 30 milligram fucking things. I'm like, dude. Yeah, this this is getting bad, dude. And once I toughed it out for the first week after getting off the oxys, I found out I could actually legit deal with the pain. I want a pill so bad. Yeah. Just hear you <laughs> talk about this. <laughs> 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 it sounds like so much fun, dude. <laughs> no, but but you know the path I was going down, it, it wasn't. It no, wasn't I, I I feel you. When when I uh, hurt my knee and I was in bed a lot, um, I was taking uh, two per, two Percocets uh, like six times a day. And that was prescribed to me. You know, I was in a ton of pain. Yep. And anyways, <clears throat> I was I was starting to lose my mind. I was starting oh, yeah. to lose it. My body was, was crazy. And it's because I stopped taking them because I was fucking constipated, right? So yep. I was like, F- I'm done taking these motherfuckers. And I was ta- telling my mom, I go, Mom, I'm, uh, like, I literally was pulling my hair. I was just going nuts. Plus, I was stuck in bed. I couldn't get up. I couldn't oh, walk. That's the fucking worst. You know exactly what I mean. Yep. Uh, anyways, my mom goes, I go, mom, I'm, I'm going fucking, I'm cr- crazy. I'm sweating. Like, you know, she goes, I bet you're addicted. You got addicted to those pills. She goes, why don't you take one? She goes, take one. We're going to start weaning you off now. And I, but what's funny is the moment I didn't even take it yet. I felt better right, right before it was just because you knew it was coming. Yeah. Yep. I felt better. And then I go, Oh shit. I'm a, I've never known what that felt like. Yeah. And I felt it. I felt what it was like. And so I just weaned myself off and, and. I, I I have the ability to do that, and so do you. You obviously yep. did it, but but I'm not saying I don't think that's an addictive personality. You know what I mean? Like it's like, are you are you willing to steal from your family for these things? 
No. Are you will? You know what I mean? Are you willing to ruin your relationships for these things? No. Then that's not addiction to me. Okay. That's that's it's something awesome <laughs> that <laughs> that you that it, it's something awesome that doesn't turn into awesome. Much like everything, like cake. Yeah. Like too, too much of any, like McDonald's. Is, too, yeah. much, too much of anything is yeah. is a bad thing. To be yeah. And I've said this before, and I know people laugh at me, but I'm addicted to fucking cereal. I'll smash a whole, if if there's cereal in that fridge, it's gone at night. I know what you mean. And I'll feel shitty. I know what you mean. And it's funny because now the boxes, dude, yeah. that's like two bowls for me. Yeah. That's two bowls, but I mean, like I'm going to sit there and eat that whole fucking bag. That's so good. But it's only going to be yeah. two sessions that I do that. And I'm like, "Oh, that's interesting." I'm like, "When the fuck do these things get smaller?" Nah, they didn't get smaller. You just dude, I get a, I get a huge fucking dog bowl, you know. I get a fucking big, the biggest spoon I could find. It's the, it's the best day. It. Yeah. It's the best day. <laughs> it is, dude. Like, it's a great day, <laughs> especially if you're by yourself. Hopefully, yep. you're by yourself. Oh, definitely. And you got something good to watch, yep. and you're just eating that cereal just Hell like yeah. a five-year-old dude yep. just sitting there. Just being left alone. Yeah, but yeah. I have a problem, and here's how I know I have a problem with that. And I know it's not as bad or whatever, but but uh, say I have something to do the next day early in the morning, right? And yeah. this is going to fuck. My stomach kills me every morning when I do this. Yeah. And it doesn't matter. I'm going to do it anyways. I know it's going to fuck me the next day. I'm still going to do it. That's a little bit of a of a problem. And I go, yeah. I'll even say this to myself. Come on, pussy. Like, <laughs> Jesus Christ. Wait, you can't not eat cereal, you fucking sissy? And I go, you know what? Fuck it. You only live once. <laughs> Let me smash cereal. And then your body the next day is like, fuck past Ian. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, that's one of those things where it's like like hangovers, right? You know, when you wake up with a hangover, you're like, why did I do that? Why did I do that? But it's like, because it's fun. Yeah. But you have to, I keep, and also we think we're superheroes while we're doing it. Tomorrow will be no problem. I'm yeah. the man. I could fucking push through that. Yep. And then well, you're just like, fuck well, up. Especially when you used to drink like we did when we were fucking kids, dude. And, you know, fuck, man. I mean, yeah. we used to smash it. I remember when I got out of the Navy and I was at my, my dad's house and, I, and they just came out with the Bud Light 36 packs, right? So I had a cube sitting on the fucking porch. <laughs> at a cube. Yeah. Josh shows up, dude, and he's got a fucking cube over his shoulder. Hell and, yeah. And his dad's like, God damn, how many people are going to be over here? And Josh, <laughs> just me and him. <laughs> <laughs> I love that, though, man. I, I miss, there's a little bit that I miss. I'd get excited when someone would walk in with a fucking 12-er of Natty Light or something. I was like, hell yeah. All right. Some Keystone, dude. Yeah, some <laughs> Keystone. <laughs> fucking Natty Ice. <laughs> yeah, or, you know, I, I I miss, I do miss a little bit of that. Where That's all you needed. Yep. Right, that's all you needed to have fun. Yeah. Was, a, was a, a, a some beer, some boys, done. Done and done. That's it. Yeah. Do you think it's just age? Do you think it's age that's different is, is why you, that doesn't work anymore? Or Yeah, definitely. definitely. Do you think it's age or is it, or is it the times? Or? No, it's age. It's yeah. age because, I mean, we've been there, done that, you know, after after a while. Yeah, I think that sucks. I think the been there, been there, done that uh, sucks. Yeah. You know, I was having this conversation with Jenna where I go, I don't, I don't, um, I don't get excited. I don't get excited. I don't really get nervous. I mean that, that's not true, but but really I don't. But and I, even I when I do get nervous, I'm like, eh, yeah, yeah. Whatever. But I, I'm not excited. You know, she'll be like, "Are you excited?" I got no, but it's well, cool. Like, well, you like, know? When I tell my old lady, I'm like, you know, when my kid gets scared about something, I'm like, oh, fuck, man, I, I miss that. You know, like a, <laughs> yeah. like a horror flick or something. And he's like, that's fucking. You know, and I see him getting scared. And I'm like, fuck, I miss that shit, dude. When I was a kid, just getting scared over something make believe. You know, right. Right, but that's true. Yeah, yeah, when you get to this age too, where yeah, you're, you're just like, I, I need to go walking through the dark. What's the worst I have? I die. Thank yeah. God. I <laughs> <laughs> you know? won't have to deal with this shit anymore. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I won't, I won't have to go retrieve wherever the fuck I'm yeah. having to retrieve. Yeah. You're at a funeral. You're like, you lucky son of a bitch. Yeah, yeah. That's a true thing. <laughs> we were t we've talked about yeah. it before. Yeah, we, yeah, we just, yeah. Yeah, we're like one of our boys dies or something. <laughs> you lucky son lucky of a bitch, yeah. man. You don't got to deal with this shit. You have to anymore. deal with this shit. <laughs> You haven't fucking, yeah, like, uh, like I had a friend that passed away, like, right before the pandemic. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he didn't have to see any of this shit. He didn't, didn't have shit. to deal with none of this garbage. He didn't even see it. Yeah. He didn't even know. Yeah. Isn't that, isn't, that's kind of weird to think about. That is. You're like, man, you went out when our prob when the problems you thought we had were minimal compared to the shit we're dealing with now. It's kind of like, why, it's kind of like, I love doing this. Now my dad's more on shit, but I, I talk about this a lot because I love older people than me. That's still pretty old school. I love to watch them 
watch something woke, or I'd love to watch them. <laughs> watch them cringe up and shit. Well, <laughs> not only they're, they their brain malfun- malfunctions. They don't under it's what is this? What and yeah. and we're entertaining this? Yeah, like like the yeah. uh, the dude from the Pentagon that we were talking about earlier. Right. The, sure. the first time my dad saw this fucker, he's like, so is he trying to be a a girl, or is he just letting people know that he likes to dress in women's clothes? I, I, I don't understand this. Yeah, and yeah. I was like, Dad, you're not meant to, dude. Yeah. <laughs> and you're not going to. No, you're not if going I to. don't, you sure as fuck don't. <laughs> exactly. you know? And every generation since is going it, to... It, I, but I love watching my dad try to figure it out. Try to figure out the, the effeminate man no. on TV or so. Or try to make sense of it. And you're like, just hey, try to make sense of it. And, and then, you know, he has he's got like... His wife bought him. He, he had some surgery done, and uh, his wife bought him some magazines and stuff. And and he, he, one of them was like a fucking I don't know, it was like a fancy magazine. Oh, I know why he had it for for his daughter. Anyways, he was like, Ian, can, can I show you something? I go, sure. So he turns to this page of this like fashion model, it's like a like a guy, right. but he's wearing he's wearing a purse, and he has like these short shorts kind of dress on, but it still has legs, but it's like a dress kind of thing. That's strange. And he, he's probably his his uh. His biceps are the size of my wrist. You know what I mean? He's uh, yeah. very thin. Anyways, and he, of course, he's, you know, he's a mulatto guy. Yeah. You know, I mean, fucking handsome twink. If you're a gay guy, this guy's the one you want. <laughs> but my dad's like, hey, Ian, look at this. Look at this. Look at this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And I go, yeah. And he yeah. goes, what do you think they're trying to sell? Are people buying this? Because my dad's a businessman, right? So he's like, so he goes, uh, what's the business plan here? Who are we selling to? Exactly. And, and I go, that's a great question, Dad. Yeah. I, I don't know. Uh, that's, that is an awesome question. You know, because that's what all, all advertisement is, is to make money. My old lady right? showed me this this one, and it was, it was a legit chick, and it was one of those fashion shows, and she's wearing like a, like a low-cut dress, you know, like how they have those low-cut jeans, but this was a dress, and then instead of anything right here, it was a big feather, like a big white feather, and I was like, so is this is this clothing is it because she just got that out of the fucking forest, you know? I mean, maybe the dresses. You mean this was a uh, uh, like, like a fashion a, show or yeah, something? like a runway model fucking thing, right? Co- coming out with those this. are questions I have too. Yeah, and half the shit that these these chicks wear is ugly as shit. You're like, who the fuck even? They come out in a it? trash bag. You're yeah. like, what is this? Or you know, or or like there's like weird cuts in the sides and shit. You're like, Dude, it would look better just what the fuck is going on. I'd, I think there's something to these, to some of these runway shows that you see, and these chicks are wearing these ridiculous fucking outfits that nobody wears. Yeah, yeah. Right? You're, you're like, what? What is this really? These doing? all these chicks that look like coat hangers. Yeah, you know. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's what they're for. You know, that's why they're thin. Yeah. Are you, yeah. you aware of that? That's why uh, runway models are so thin because they're supposed to look like coat hangers. How they look at the store. Yeah, oh, Jesus, that's horrible. Yeah, it's horrible. Yeah, and nobody likes those no, chicks. No, it's the first thing I think. I was like, damn, baby, eat a burger or two. Where's Fuck. the butt, man? <laughs> Where's your butt? Yeah. This yeah. is crazy. Your chest is concaved in. This is crazy. You know? Yeah, they're uh, disgusting, right? But uh, I don't know about these shows. Like, who are you selling to? Where are these clothes going? I think it's just a show for like elite. Yeah, people or something like I, I don't but, get. But it. sometimes I feel like you like, know I feel like I'm being punk. Like, is anybody gonna like this? And I'm like, no, no, I don't like that. But you guys keep doing these shows all the time with a bunch of shit I don't like. So I yeah. guess you're gonna just keep doing it. I played a uh, <laughs> like this this fashion store on Melrose. I played an opening. You know, we we did acoustic sets and things like that. And it was, it was like me and the guy from fucking uh, Red Something Apparatus, whatever that band is, mm. Red Jumpsuit Apparatus, whatever that guy. Anyways, it was the opening. But I could not stop asking the people in the store, like, who buys this shit? Like, what the... F-? And the, the, the It was a T-shirt that had, like, David Bowie on it, right? Uh-huh. And it was, looked like it was already been worn and had holes in it. It was 500 bucks. And I'm going. I'm going. Who's who's buying this? And why is it five hundred dollars? Because it's got David Bowie's and, nuts and the guy on it and the guy with a weird fucking accent is like is like this is uh, this oh, is he's, high. He's is, French. Yeah, he was. Uh, I don't know. I don't know what he is. He was pretty dark skinned but <laughs> I mean, it, 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 and I go really. And I I stop myself because you know me. I'm, I'm gonna start prodding. Start and, you know, people are gonna be like Ian. Please stop. Please stop. <laughs> yeah. But it was just, it was just wild to see. Like this clothing that is the same shit that I have with a white t-shirt. You know, there. something you can buy online, fucking throw it in, in the washer and dryer with a couple of rocks, make it look vintage. Yeah, like <laughs> let me tell you guys something. Like like I always wear my shit. You know why? 
It cost me three dollars and fifty cents for the shirt. <laughs> you know? That's what it costs to make my own merch, <laughs> and then you sell it for fifteen dollars, right? But it's like, well, no, that's not true. Three, three fifty, uh, whatever, four fifty. Either way, the point is, is I don't have to buy shit. It's that's, just that's fucking ten dollars for a blank fucking shirt. You yeah, because that's that's what it seems like. The I mean, norm it's, is you know, ten, fifteen, okay. But when you're when we're getting insane with these. Oh, this is a high quality. Get the fuck out of here. Well, even some of the shows that we go to, they're like $30 for a fucking t-shirt. I'm like, fuck that, dude. Thir- $30 t-shirts and then... And fucking a jackets. hoodie, $65. Yeah. $100 for a jacket, and all it is is a Dickies jacket with a patch sewn on the back. You're like, fuck that, dude. Yeah. I mean, that that is... Like, you could just buy the patch and buy the Dickies jacket, but... Yeah. Like, I do understand because, uh, you know, shipping is expensive. So if you have to ship... You definitely got to put that price up. Yeah. But but man, like but, the, where I'm at, I'm like, well, how much money you got, bro? Yeah. That, that's how much I'll give it to you for. Oh, <laughs> you know yeah. I mean? you know? For the most part, as long as I, it doesn't cost me anything, yeah. you know, as long as I don't lose money. I fucking. remember seeing a, a video with uh, Nirvana, and they're they're talking about uh, you know how much like Kiss and like the big bands were charging for yeah. their or no, I think it was Madonna that they heard, and they're like Madonna charges over a hundred dollars per ticket, and they're like a hundred dollars or like. Man, and we thought we were raping people at twenty five dollars. Yeah, <laughs> I was like, dude, that's so fucked. Yeah, what you want? I mean, the, the ultimate goal, I think, as as an artist, is to not r- rape your fans. Right, is to get the best dollar amount you can, and maybe you can make your money on sponsors. Because yeah. if you're on a Madonna, you can get all the sponsors you oh, want. Yeah, you can you can have a uh, you know anything that has to do with horses. Yeah, I mean, yeah, <laughs> yeah, <I> mean, <laughs> the donkeys and shit. Yeah. Speaking of Madonna, shall we? Shall we just let's dive into what? Her. What's up? Why? Why? Why is she doing that? Uh, what, what fucking animals? Oh, she fuck. Oh, is that a new thing that I didn't hear? No, no, no. This is an old thing. She oh, came, this is an old one. She came out with that in her book. She oh did. no, her her uh, plastic surgery and all that shit. Are you seeing what's going on? Oh no, I haven't. But she was looking pretty haggard. Yeah, here I'll I'll, I'll pull it up, man. Yeah, but I'm I'm on her side, you know. Be, fuck it. But what sucks is Madonna's a hot chick. Oh, she used to be. She's in her sixties. Who cares? I'm. Dude. I I enjoy an older woman that is that is killing it. Okay, still killing it. But there's hot older women and there's broads that are starting to shrivel up and prune up and shit. So like Selma Hayek, hot Selma as Hayek, fucking hot as fuck. Who's dude. the chick in Austin Powers? Uh. Is that Alicia Silverstone? No, no, Austin Powers. Um, or can you look at? Can you see yeah. the computer? Ooh, Jesus fucking Christ! She don't even look like herself anymore. Yeah, she's she's when she did that spread in Playboy, dude. I thought she was hot as fuck. Look, not a wrinkle on her, and that looks weird when you're that age and you don't have any wrinkles. But you know who looks great and is older than her? I believe is uh, that that one chick, uh, Cindy Lauper. And, oh yeah, and she's had some work done. But it doesn't look really bad and botched like, like this blowfish right here. I mean, it's she still, looks like it's a still Madonna. But why is she, you know like, there's no wrinkles on her. She's in her sixties. Yeah, you got to have some wrinkles. You got to have something. And besides, you know what, what a lot of chicks don't realize is Cindy that Cindy Lauper looks good. She's she's looking oh, old. She, hey, you know what? You know what? Hanging in, boy. She looks old though. She she looks old, but she's, she's got to be in her seventies by now, yeah, right? Yeah. But you know, she just wants to have funny. I, I'd smash. I did. I'd smash because I'd of Cindy Lauper. Yeah, you know. You know, fuck yeah, why not? But I like that man. Yeah, and and what a lot of chicks don't realize is we like the natural way that you girls look when you age. Yeah, it's fine. It's fine. We're good with it. I th- it's. I mean, when they say when they say it's for them, I guess it really is because. Yep. It's it's really f- or no? Here's what who it's for, their friends or whatever to try to outdo their friends. No, there is those little. You know, isn't that the only reason they want to go on like vacation so they can take pictures and be like, ah, in and your sh- face, your bitch! Fucking show their. Face. Look where I get to go. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's not just having fun with your dude. No, it's it's. I want to throw this in my fucking friend's I, face. I want to take pictures of my feet on the beach. Yeah, and make you feel take horrible. This, take this, bitch. <laughs> That's what you, I I really believe that yeah. all these pictures are to throw it in fucking other Definitely. friends' faces. Definitely, dude. That, that's what <laughs> Facebook's for, too. Dude. You know, yeah. so Facebook. So, so yeah. chicks could fucking be like, "Ooh, I live this lavish lifestyle." No, nah, you don't. You no, live, you don't. You live just like me, and you had a fake background. No, nah, or de- you went over to some rich dude's house and started taking pictures. You're depressed as fuck. Yeah. I get it. Yeah, you're depressed like the rest of us. <laughs> like, I get it. <laughs> no, but it is. I, I noticed that. Like, I you, you see it in the gym. You see it out at the club. You see that. You know, well, they'll find the best. They're just working the angle. You know. Oh yeah. Like. 
you know, living my best life. Yeah, right. Mm, yeah. You do that, and then, mm. they, then they're back to being by themselves at the bar. Like, yeah, yeah. yeah, so, yeah. Fucking miserable, hateful bitch. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, it's, it's such a it's a such a wild time to where where that's what it is. Like Facebook and Instagram is a flex. Yeah, you're, you're flexing on it. Yeah, everybody. you're gonna try to put your best foot forward. Yeah. Make yourself look even way more important than you actually are. Yeah. And I guess I guess for, for girls that means something to me. I could give I wanted a, to do I could give a rat's ass. I wanted to do like we also do this. Like the our real life. You wake up just fuck off. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> just like it's all just pictures of, of <laughs> drool coming out of my face doing yeah. a puddle on my pillow. <laughs> yeah, just going to work and then and then you come home, there's your bills. You just take a picture of your bills. Here's me taking out the trash. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Another Monday. Right? And then Tuesday. <laughs> You know what I mean? People are like, "That's boring." Yeah, but that I would love that. Here's here's real life. Yep. Like here's my real life Instagram. Yeah. Doing fucking nothing cool. <laughs> Fuck all, dude. Yeah. Dude. Here's my feet while I'm masturbating. <laughs> Notice how the left one's curled. <laughs> I'm almost there. Yeah, where it's all just it's just masturbating. On the, you're like, gee, that guy masturbates every day at six o'clock. Dude, imagine. You took the picture of your load shot in the toilet, and it ends up being on there 12 times a day, dude. <laughs> You're like, God damn, this guy just don't quit. Just shot right in the toilet. <laughs> the maintenance jerk. That's what that is. That's, that, that's strictly maintenance. Yep. Yeah. Uh, yeah. That, uh, what was it? Uh, fucking uh, something about Mary when he's like, well, that's your problem. You haven't squirted one out. And he's like, you can't go around on a first date with all that baby batter up in your brain. <laughs> yeah, you're going out there with a loaded gun. What are you doing? <laughs> Such great advice, dude. I don't know. I would have to disagree, though. You jerk off before a date? Yeah. Hmm. I, it, it'll give you more stamina when you do go to pound town. Huh. Yeah. You'll, you'll last a little I bit I don't longer. know. I'd like to I'd like to be have my full... At full capacity there for yeah, the first the, for the first date. Yeah, but the the first one, you know, you're gonna blast off like a fucking champion in a few minutes, dude. That's know? true. Always something new. You it's you're gonna blast off. Dude. Yeah, but I'm I've gotten I'm pretty good, dude. I can I can slow down. Yeah. I can you know I can keep it from yeah having because because that's still a problem with my girl right now. I'm just like I got to go now, but <laughs> I'm gonna let it hold so you can try to have some so, fun. So during. that way you can get yours before so I get yeah, mine. Yeah, right <laughs> when you get yours, I'm like, thank God, yeah. and then yeah. I can finally blast <laughs> off and come in here and watch Family Guy. <laughs> <laughs> so you could finally go to sleep and I could raid the fridge. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's probably for you it's harder to raid the fridge because you got the you got the kids. No, it's it's all the way on the other side of my house. So I'm oh, good. good. So you're yeah. good? You, you you get some alone time, man? Oh, fuck yeah, dude. Uh, you get some alone time with yeah, the weed and the, uh, the food. Most of the time they're gonna want to watch their own shit, do their own thing too. I mean yeah. when we're at home, you know, we're with each other all the fucking time, so most of the time, I'm doing my thing. They're doing their you, thing. You guys are good about staying in each other's way. Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? You're not. Yeah. She, she doesn't trap you in the kitchen? Nah, fuck no. Trap you in the bathroom? No. Uh, no, yeah. she she knows my, my bathroom is my throne. Dude, that is, that is I don't want to hear a knock at that door. I don't want to hear, I mean, if there's a knock at that door, there must be a guy at my front door with a fucking gun, and you need me to go right. shoot some dude with my fucking, you know, with my pants down, and I don't mind doing it. <laughs> but as soon as that door closes, no, that's that's peaceful time, and I, I give, give them the same respect, too. Like, Are you with me on this? Every woman I've ever known, even, say, family members, mm -hmm. right, uh, my mother, she, if I'm in the kitchen, she will come right into the kitchen and block me. Right there, and start <laughs> and, and and start talking. Oh yeah! If I'm in the bathroom, all of a sudden she's got questions to ask me. She's got questions. Hey, uh, so earlier I noticed she didn't do. Oh, yeah, yeah I, I'm gonna go. Yeah, you're gonna hold on. No. Uh, and I'm already now. I'm upset. I'll, I'll tell you how to. <laughs> now I'm grumpy. I'll tell you how to rid yourself of that, dude. Just go. Just sound like you're pushing real hard when you <laughs> answer. Go like. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. <laughs> but it, I've noticed that throughout <laughs> history, girlfriends they trap you in the in the kitchen. Because that you can't go anywhere, yep. you're stuck. Oh yeah, and they'll just talk to you. I go, we were just out there. You, you follow me, but they don't know they do it. Yeah, we had we had plenty of opportunities out there, but now that I'm here, they don't they don't know they do it. Yeah, uh, do have, do you agree with that? Oh yeah, yeah. My mom's yeah. done that shit, and she's still to this day, man. I I go to the fucking head at her house, you know, and then all of a sudden, 
hey, babe, I was wondering. I'm like, God. And I'll, and I'll do that thing. I'll be like, yeah, I'll be out. <laughs> <laughs> and then I'll hear her stop and walk away, dude. Yeah, like I've been followed into the bathroom. But like, you, you coming into the bathroom with me? You going to wash my hands for like, me? what the fuck, dude? <laughs> like, Jesus Christ, I can't go anywhere. It's like, oh, my God, dude. It's like it's like my dogs. You know, my dogs follow me around the house. Yep. It's like, it's like what are you doing? <laughs> so, but every every girlfriend, even ex girlfriends, they they would and it would the moment they follow me in the kitchen, there's a a rage that comes over me. I get I get so frustrated, and I go, why are we? With let, the, let me make my food. With the old girlfriends back in the days, what I would do, and this would be funny because it would upset the shit out of my shit with the door open. Whoa, that's a that's bold. No, I'd ship with that door right open. That's so that, bold. So that way, they when they walk up and they want to try to talk, oh, they get that whiff and they're like, <laughs> they, "Fuck that! What died in your stomach?" That, and that like, is a, get that, the fuck on. That's a bold move, dude. <laughs> that's a that's a new step in a relationship, right there. Yeah. The open door dump. Yeah, I, I had to do that for many years. Now I just get left alone, which is nice. Yeah, no, uh, that is a definite no, no. We close the doors yeah. in here. Growing up, though, see, uh, my mother used to leave it open, yeah, which is fucking wild, man. <laughs> it's wild, and she like I'd be in there in the bathroom. She just walk in, like we didn't even have. There was no lock on the door. There's no lock on the <laughs> I door. I remember that. Too. Yeah, <laughs> so she would just walk in. It's crazy, but she, I mean, it is cool that she's very open. She's like, what? Uh, People using shit. the bathroom. Yeah. I don't care. <laughs> I, that's how you know she's in the medical field, so she's just she's like, eh, whatever the yep. fuck. But it's it's weird though. Oh yeah, it's still weird, dude. Yep. And that's a no no in my household. Mm. That door's being closed. Yeah. Okay. That door's being closed. There's no passing wind with each other. We don't do that either. No. That that we don't do that. No way. If any time that happens, that's an accident. No. Yeah. No. We don't do that. Yeah, because that happens sometimes. You yeah. know, you don't have, you don't know that you have one loaded in the chamber, and you start to laugh, and then yeah. <laughs> and you're like, oh shit! <laughs> Sorry about that one. Why is that in an immature way? Why is that funny? Why is it still funny? Farts because the noises that they make, dude. I mean, especially when you get them high pitched ones that are like, yeah, the, <laughs> yeah, the high pitched ones are funny, dude. They are. Why are they funny though? Because you can't believe a sound like that is coming out of your body, dude. Every, but it's everybody's body. Yeah, I know, but it's still funny. It's everybody's I, body. The, the dogs. The I, don't, dog, I yeah. don't care. People call me immature for still laughing at it, but I'll still do no, it. No, but everybody laughs at it. Yeah. If you don't laugh at it, I got a problem. Well, you, you got some of those fucking people that really try to hold back on it and like, oh, that, that's fucking disgusting. Go take a shit. You know, <laughs> it is, but it's like, who doesn't think that's funny? You know what I mean? That that's like a. That's kind of like those are those people that try to look down their nose at you on every little thing, or or is it like an old school thing? Maybe it could be, that. you know, like yeah. like older parents yeah. or, or like. But I'd say our age and down. If you're yeah. not laughing at that, you, you got to check your humor, man. Dude, I, I remember one time when I was working at Big Five, I had bad gas one time, and there was these customers <laughs> pissing off one of my one of my employees, you know, so. And I knew I was going to let this shit go, dude. So I just did a circle around them and crop dusted the fuck out of them, dude. And then rolled off, dude, and watched from, from a distance, dude. And, and I saw the guy look over at his girl. She looks at him. And, and you could tell what they're saying. I mean, I'm far enough away to where I couldn't hear it. But, but he goes, he's shaking his head like, no, that wasn't me. And she's like, yeah, it was. Yeah. <laughs> it was. All right, here, I'm going to give you the ultimate in immaturity. All right. So yesterday was my uh, my dad's birthday. All right, happy birthday, pops. Yeah, he's uh he's sixty nine. No shit, my dad just turned seventy. Boom. Okay, now let me tell you the inse- the the, the, the immaturity between me and my brother. All right. So we're we're like happy birthday, dad, and and uh and, and he was like and he dude. he goes sixty nine. <laughs> he, he's I'm sixty nine, right? and me and my brother look at each other and we just we get the fucking giggles. We die laughing for about fifteen minutes. It's so stupid. It's Bill and Ted 69, yeah, dude. It's so stupid. <laughs> and we cannot stop. And we have to be like, I'm sorry. I have to say I'm sorry. And and no one gets it. No one knows why we're laughing. And we're like, just don't don't they, worry about it. They do. They just don't want to admit no, it. They, they, Everybody knows no, what no one 69 knew. is, dude. They do, but they don't I don't think they knew we were laughing at that. At that part of it. I, I it was just it was just two fucking idiots. <laughs> But you know what? You know when you get the giggles and you yeah. can't stop, even when you want to. Well, yeah, especially because your buddy's sitting there smirking and looking at you. you yeah, makes, he had to leave the room. Yeah, when he left the room, I was fine. Yeah. yeah, but I was just like, I go, I, I felt terrible because it's during the birthday and we're trying to make this like a cool thing, and I'm fucking dying. My face is turning red. You know. Well, dude, that 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 means you're having a great time, dude. I don't see any wrong with it. I, I don't see anything wrong either. I'm just saying it's 
<laughs> it's the height of immature. Ah, uh, 69. Ah, 69. Ah, fucking stay. That, that's a sexual position. Ah, fuck. <laughs> fucking stupid. You know. Well, I mean, in it, my forties, for God's sake. I know, but it, but it's very far and few that we hear sixty nine nowadays. I mean, nothing's true. really sixty nine. So when it does pop up, you're like, ah, ah shit, yeah, yeah. yeah it's <laughs> fucking sixty nine, man. <laughs> yeah, and it was just we couldn't stop. You know, like you ever got the giggles in class when you were in high school? Oh yeah, and then the more angrier the teacher gets at me, the more I yeah. laugh. You can't stop. <laughs> yeah. I did that once with Sebastian. Oh, I had oh, Sebastian shit. in the class, <laughs> and we had the giggles. It was ridiculous. I oh, did. We couldn't stop. <laughs> I, I've, I've had that when I caught my uh, my math teacher, and his face was always red, dude. Yeah. And I found out that he was drinking the whole fucking time, oh. and he would get oh what in class? Yeah, oh wow. yeah, oh yeah, fucking. I would love to get some dirt on some of these <laughs> teachers that I had, dude. Dude, some of these teachers that I had is, uh, I can't even believe that they were fucking teachers. But I just remember finding out that he was fucking drinking because I heard the infamous sound of the liquor bottle cap. You know, I heard that. Oh, and oh, it, oh the, the the flask. Yeah. Yeah. And I heard that, and I was like, I know what the fuck that is. And, you know, and this fool is just sitting there like this, and then he goes, whoa. And you saw it? And I saw it. And, and you I, knew what it was? I as, knew exactly as, what it was. How? What, what age? What grade? This was, was uh, 10th grade. Yeah, 10th grade. 10th grade, you are how old? Uh, 15. 15. What? 15, I think. 15, 16. When are you a senior? You're 15 when you're a senior, right? No, when Am I fucking ridiculous? I don't know what I'm talking about. When you're a senior, we were either 17 or 18. Right. That was. That shows what I, what I remember. Yeah. But I remember, and as soon as I realized what the fuck it was, I couldn't stop laughing because this dude's always getting fucking pissed off at me. I'm always in trouble with him. I'm a bad student. This and that. I'm like, <laughs> no wonder why you think I'm a bad student. You're a fucking drunk, dickhead. Yeah. You know, I'm thinking that in my head, but I just start laughing, and he's like. What the hell's so funny, Justin? I started laughing even more because I couldn't say it. I wanted to say, you're fucking drinking. And I couldn't yeah. say it. And he's like, get the hell out of my class. <laughs> I'm like, gladly. <laughs> of course he's drinking. Yeah. Of course. Yeah, well, really. I would be. <laughs> yeah, you got to deal with me. I'd be a great teacher, man. <laughs> I should be a teacher. A great drinking teacher? <laughs> no, I would have been a great. Well, like, of Looking back, all the teachers were pretty fucking miserable, right? Yeah, most of them. And For the most part. And, uh, the only one that I actually had that was really happy was uh, a couple of my music teachers. You know, very far and few. They're nice, loving people. Yeah, of course, of, art. Yeah. The, yeah. The rest of them were just miserable math teachers. Most of them were miserable, especially in high school. Middle school, not so much. But fuck, dude, yeah. Why do you think, why do you think they were miserable? Because you think the the lack of pay, the the organization, the I'm sure it's the lack of pay, the, the lack, fact that they are a teacher, maybe the lack of respect that they get out of some of the kids too. Sure, dude. Uh, you know, right? Uh, like, uh, imagine having some snot nosed fucking kid, dude, you know, He's talking shit, talking to you. shit to yeah, you, trying to square off on you, and you're like, and I think the the teachers are forced. I don't know this for sure, but I think they're forced to try to care because, uh, whatever tenure they get or whatever matters how many kids pass the class or something it, does that sound like anything you've heard no, no. like th they there's something if oh. like if the, all the kids are failing they get okay. kind of reprimanded yeah. or something i know what you're you talking know. about yeah yeah they're yeah so they are like it looks bad on yeah them. they're held to standards like you gotta have right. so many fucking you know excelling. right so when they got a, a whole bunch of <laughs> yeah, it's class full of dummies. But what was funny is in middle school, I was a math fucking genius, dude. I had this this uh, math teacher, Mr. Drew. Black dude, cool as fuck, dude. Oh, yeah. I think I remember Mr. Yeah, Drew. Yeah. Dude, I was a genius in this dude's class because I love the guy. The right. Guy was, that helps. Yeah. 100%. Fucking, and he would take his time, you know, explain shit to me slowly. I get to high school. They put me in some dipshit class with fucking this dumb bitch, Miss Coons. That fucking idiot, dude. Miss Coons? K-U-N-Z. Yeah, Miss Coons. Miss she was, Coons. She was a white lady, but she was a fucking airhead, dude. She didn't even know how to teach her own fucking class. I think most of them were airheads. Yeah. And so now I go from a fucking math genius to a D student in a shit fucking math class. Yeah. And I'm like, oh, I know what this is. It's because you're not Mr. Drew. You're not the dude that gave a fuck about his kids and right. fucking wanted to teach them. You don't even know what you're trying to teach. Right. So, of course, how's that gonna, how am I going to interpret There's it? a lot of that, too, where it's like, where I've talked about that, too, with, with my girl. Because she, she had great, you know, she went to school in Santa Clarita. And she said it was a fantastic school, right? Everybody, teachers were great. The teachers cared. They still talk to the students and shit. It's like, yeah. odd. And I'm just like, that's a, 
weird world I don't even understand. Yep. I don't understand not having this uh, versus relationship with yeah. the teachers. <laughs> yeah, no shit. You know? I mean, but it was funny because middle school, I didn't really have that. High school definitely had that. It was me versus them. It's a bad school. Yeah. That's a bad school. It was. It was a shitty school. It's a shitty school. Shitty fucking groundskeepers, whatever the fuck they call that bitch Nancy. You know, it's <laughs> yeah. fucking, you know, as long as you're a gangster, I'll be cool with you. But if you're white and you're trying to fucking have friends, I'm going to fuck you over. Yeah, I've talked about that. I mean, uh, there's definitely a, there was definitely an anti-white thing going on fuck yeah, at that was. school, 100%. Yep. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We experienced racism every single day. Every single day, man. Yep. Constantly being fucked with. Dude. Oh, yeah. But it's it's like, um, but okay, that's life. We move along, right? Yeah. yeah. But I'm, I'm going uh what would it be like to be in one of these, school, you know, these Ivy League schools or what? You know what I mean? Like, you ever think about that? I do. Do you ever? Does that ever come up? Like, what if I went to like a good college? Like a, I would think about that a lot. You know, if I never went and joined the Navy, if I just went to college, yeah, what my life would be like now. I'm sure I'd be making a shit ton more money. But you'd be going to Long Beach State or city, right? Yep. Yeah. That was a- Stupid schools. Yeah, really, and most of the people that I know that I've went there just got themselves in debt and don't really do shit with exactly. their degree. Exactly. Most people I know, too, they, whatever they went there for, they, they're just in debt now. Yeah. Yeah. Or their parents are in debt mm-hmm. or whatever, right? So I kind of feel like I'm better off on that aspect, but then I do run into the very, you know, small few that got a degree, did yeah. something with it, and now they're making stacks, dude, you know, and I'm like... Son. Also, like, like I, but... You know, you have to put your kind of, I, I guess, your your parents in a higher tax bracket if you're going to go to these really, like, these crazy colleges. You know, these yeah. really nice colleges. Oh, yeah. yeah. Like, I think about that. What would it be like to be in one of these crazy colleges? Yeah. A frat. I'd probably never make it in a frat because I'd be like, fuck. I, Are I, you kidding I, me? You'd be the king, dude. You'd end up running that I'd shit. I'd probably run the thing. I know you would, dude. <laughs> I'd be like, all right, first order of business. We're getting rid of this, dude. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't like the way you're looking at me. Yeah. Fuck off. Yeah, I'm going <laughs> to shake you in the shower tonight, motherfucker. <laughs> Let me but, show you guys how to really do a beer bong, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But, I I mean, because I, I love watching these movies. Do you yeah. love watching those kind of movies? Oh, the, hell in yeah, college dude. movies? Like old the, school. Old school road trip. Yeah, hell yeah. And I go, what would that be like? Like, right. it, it, well, you know? Well, for me, I, I kind of had something similar in the Navy. I mean, right after I got out of boot camp, dude, that was kind of like my college years now i'm going to my a school which right. is teaching me my main job in the navy and that's all we did i mean it was fucking six hours a day of just cramming so much shit in your head you couldn't even believe you fucking could remember all this stuff and then as soon as you get out now we're going out into town drinking fucking plowing chicks repeat yeah i mean that that's a frat and the yep. frats are brotherhood is what they say right you yep. know so it's like yeah, I mean that's it's the same thing, pretty much. It's the same thing, pretty much. So whenever people tell me about their college experience, I'm like, oh yeah, you know what I did? <laughs> I yeah, went, I went on plowed fields. Too. I mean, most college uh, experiences are are bullshit. Yeah, and I've your your boys uh, dated a few college chicks. They're fucking morons. No, dude. <laughs> you know what I always? They're dumb. What I've been seeing a lot lately is somebody driving like shit, having a fucking USC or UCLA or some kind of college license plate frame, and I'm like, well, I'm glad you're a smart dumb fuck. Yeah, I mean, um, the uh, to it, there is a difference between, uh, I guess, the, the combination of getting that education and still living, uh, getting real world experience. Yep. Because a lot of times people live their whole life in academics, mm-hmm. and then have no street smarts. No street smarts, or it, like, like here's a dumb example. I guess I, you know, I went to MI, graduated mm-hmm. from if we call that graduation from from Musicians Institute, right? For audio engineering. Thank you very much. But the but on my end, I was already working in studios when I went in there, so I kind of already, you know, I, yeah, had a foot a, in the door. I was just I had a foot in the door. Not only that, um, I need to learn this nerdy shit. I was work because I I start on analog, you know. Yep. But anyways, the point is, is some of the people, some of the like the the girls, uh, they were really good. They did well, and but uh, they ended up being teachers after that. Like they didn't, they didn't run, start going in the studio business or do anything like that. Well, you, you know, they say that if and, if you can't do teach, right? And one of them, I actually um, was working at a studio, and she was interning, right? This one that graduated with me, so she was, you know, she started working. She, I had to get her. At, I go, you got to, you're. 
you're fucking up the session. You got to get out of here. It, it, the schooling, it was too much schooling. Everything's perfect, like wrapping cables before the. I, we got to get the session rolling, man. Like, yeah. it's fine. Yeah. We got to get. Just little things like that. You start to notice, like, oh. You're, you're doing it by the book. You're doing it by the book. Here, we got to get rolling. These guys fucking got to get going before they get drunk. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah, <laughs> like, you know, exactly. Yeah. And, and yeah. then we're not going to be able to do shit. Yeah. yeah. I mean, the real world experience and how to run a, a session is a, is a whole other world. You know, but it's but that's an example I imagine with all these uh, uh, scholars and all these people that were that's just their life. Once they get out in the world, they're fucked. Yep. So there's there's got to be a combination. I wish I had that combination both. I think about that, and my dad really wanted to get me into college. You know, he was like, "You're gonna go to college," and I did. I was like, "Nah." You know what's funny is my parents never even brought it up. Mm. Even when I I went to Long Beach City for just a few months, you know, before. I, before I went into the Navy because I wanted to do firefighting and shit. Yes. And the whole time I'm I'm in this class <clears throat> learning this shit, dude, by the book sucks. It sucks. It's boring. It's dragged out. Most Yo. of the shit I already know. Oh, yeah, you should have a fire extinguisher. Yeah, I fucking know that. You know, you should have a few in your house. Yeah, I fucking know that, especially around your fucking kitchen area. Mm. You know, shit like that where there's flammable shit. Yes, I know. Yeah, you know, in the shooting range? Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> and I just got bored of it. And, you know, when I joined the Navy, I was like, well, instead of learning about all this shit, they just teach you a little bit, and then you fucking go and do it. Yeah. It's way better. Yeah, because you learn about all of it. I mean, it's all real-world, hands-on shit is the real thing to do. Definitely. It's the real thing to do. Although, like, yeah, I, I just I think about that often, actually. It's like, if, if, I, just, if I just did... Because I did have... Although, like, see, the parents are like, you're going to go to college. Long Beach City, though. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, mm -hmm. it's just it's just the 11th grade or whatever after high school. It's yeah. just 13th grade, so pretty th much. Th thank yeah. you. 13th grade. It's just the 13th grade. Yeah. Yeah. And I hated school so much. And so did yeah. I. And that's why I didn't want to do it. And I, and I kept telling myself, <clears throat> so not only are you going to go back for more school with more books and studying and bullshit, but now you got to pay, too. Right. <laughs> <laughs> that's a great point. And now you have to pay. Yeah. And now you're in debt. Yeah. And then and then the first fucking week that I was going there, oh, good luck finding a parking spot unless you want to pay for that, too. I'm right. Like, I'm like, this is just a cash cow. It's a cash cow. They're just raping these kids. That's it. And then they're teaching them some bullshit. Yeah. <laughs> and, I mean, like, in my years of working in studios, I've had quite a bit of interns. Almost all of them are dumb as fuck. They're learning nothing. Yeah. They're literally learning nothing. Yeah. They'll never, ever work anywhere in a the studio. They'll never do anything like that, ever. Yeah, and it's like it, it's it's wild. What's it's the last one. Uh, is that the last one? Yeah. No, nah, you have the last one, bro. Sure. Yeah, yeah. Go ahead. Right. I'll probably uh, I, I might pour myself a tell them or do for the last uh, fifteen minutes of this. Cool. Uh, yeah, but I'm just saying. I, I I've said that many times. What are you guys learning? What are you learning in there? Yeah. Dude? What were you paying attention to when you were there? Yeah, and it's like whatever. But I guess that's just one of those things you're talking yourself out of. You didn't go to college. Yeah. You know. I don't know. You never know. You, you just be a completely different person. Wouldn't well, that, that be wild? That's what I, I, I'd i always assume, too, because I'm like, well, if I never went into the Navy, first, I, I wouldn't have my little girls. Would have never met their mom. There you go. Never would have had them. Right. I wouldn't be in the place that I was to meet my current wife, have my son, which is the fucking love of my life. Right. So I'm happy with everything that I did. Right. See, but if you did take that path, you wouldn't even know that, though. That's true. <laughs> that's true, yeah. too. Right. But but uh, I, I this is how I, I make myself feel better about it. I'm like, you'd probably be rich, you'd probably be successful, you probably wouldn't have any kids, and you'd probably be miserable. Mm, there you go. Yeah, I mean, you just don't know. Don't. There's no way to know. It'd be, no. it'd be great if there was somehow like a simulator. You you can yeah. simulate if you took this other turn, right? Yeah. Just or if you made, made this decision, you and made that off decision that way. Yeah. If someone could make a simulator like that, that would make all the money in the world. That fucking would. What would that be like? A sim like you, I guess the simulator, you'd have to uh, type in everything throughout your life. And then up to that point. Up to that point. This is it can go left or it can go right. Yeah. I guess there, there would be a uh, mathematical evaluation of, of, of probability. But you know what that reminds me of? <laughs> fucking Napoleon Dynamite, the, his uncle. When he's like, man, if Coach would have just put me in that last quarter <laughs> in the varsity game, I would have been making millions of dollars, had plenty of hot chicks. <laughs> then he's sitting there, like, looking off into space, tries to buy a time machine. <laughs> it just ends oh, up shit. shocking his nipples or something. <laughs> I've actually never seen that movie. Oh, dude, you got to check it out. 
One of my favorite scenes is fucking that uncle that's, you know, yeah. he, he missed his glory spot and shit. So he's like, I bet you I could throw a football over that mountain. And he's sitting next to fucking Napoleon Dynamite's brother. They're both eating steaks. But he gra- he's like, watch this. Napoleon comes rolling up on a bike with his friend. He goes, watch this, grabs Napoleon's brother's steak and fucking hucks it right at his face. <laughs> knocks his fucking glasses off. And he's like, ah, what the fuck? And he's like, see? And then his brother goes, that's what I'm talking about. And he's a little nerdy kid. All right, I'll check it out. Dude, I figured I wouldn't like it because the Napoleon Dynamite kid annoys me. Oh, dude. He annoys yeah. everybody, but that's what makes it great because right. you get to see him get bullied in school, fucked up. And it takes it, place in uh, Idaho. Yeah. It, it, and I'm it, familiar with that area. It's yeah. fucking, it's pretty funny, dude. Okay. All yeah, right. All yeah, right. I'll check it out. You'll like it. So far, you're pretty good with the movie Rex. Hell yeah. You're not bad on those. I'll, I'll, I'll check those out for sure. I mean, it, it's it's kind of dorky, you know, but but like it's but I, I I guarantee there is a a an equation you can figure out if you took another so they start from the beginning to end or beginning to up until that point, and then you give the probabilities, and I bet you some of these people who who deal with this probability of life like like life insurance, yeah. probability of life insurance can probably figure out huh this this is this could have happened for you. Yeah. Like, here's a good example. <clears throat> like, my, my knee injury, right? Before the knee injury, I was I was wilding out. I was, out of, I was getting a little out of control, getting a little cocky. Nah. You know what I mean? That's how I feel. So I'm the bright side of me looking at it, maybe I would have been dead or shot or whatever the fuck. Maybe, yeah. maybe. Yeah. And I was, you know, I was feeling a little, little cocky and invincible a little bit. And then I fucking blew my goddamn knee out. And completely set my life on a different place. Maybe that's what you needed to humble yourself to be in the... Humble, yes. The good spot that you're in now. Now, I'm going to say so. I'm done being humbled. Okay, if we could just... <laughs> <laughs> I'm tired of that shit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Lord, if we could stop humbling me. I, I, I got it. All right, I got it. I got it now. You got the memo. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the memo came in red, loud, and clear. Okay? Uh, yeah, and but I... I I've said that a, a couple times, yeah, where I go, I think that maybe that was good. And my knee, I never would have met Jenna. I wouldn't have my dogs. I mean, I guess that's why I love my fucking dog. You know that. Oh, hell yeah. So I never would have had that. You know, you, you, know, you never know. Yep. You never know. But, it, but again, then you go the other way. Well, I have those things because I'm me and I'm not going to stop and, and be a bitch. I'm going to continue and, you know. Yeah, but, but like I said, you, you wouldn't have been in that spot of availability you know, to, to meet Jenna, to be where you can get your dogs, True. to do all that, because you probably would have been wilding out or, or touring yeah. or somewhere else to not be in that spot that you were to could meet, be to have them. And maybe that could have been better. Maybe that was <laughs> fucking awesome, dude. Maybe that was the path you were supposed to go I was down. Supposed to go, and now I'm in hell. <laughs> <laughs> no, I do, I do feel that. I I think everybody gets humbled at some point in their life. Oh, definitely. And I, I mean, look, like like I've never been humbled before, but that was definitely a, a humbling experience. That whole twelve fucking surgeries is humbling as fuck, dude. dude. And you're just like fucking over it. Yeah. But I'm done being humbled. If I can, here's what sucks though. I am so humble now that now it's going. I mean, if I'm going to be honest with you, it's going the opposite way. What do you mean? I'm being so humble that there's there's a lot of this. I'll probably fail. There's a lot uh, that's happening lately. Oh, you mean you're, I, you're starting to feel like a pussy or what? Uh, going, it's probably not going to work out. Rather than, I used to never have that feeling. I go, F- of course that's going to work out. Of course. Of course. Right? Uh, now that, that, that's, just, that's just age and wisdom right there. Is dude. that age and wisdom or that is that is. overly humbled? No. Oh, that's, overly humbled. <laughs> <laughs> that's just age and wisdom. We know our capabilities now. And then after saying that, I'm going to wake up tomorrow and go, Ian, you fucking sissy. <laughs> you <dude."> fucking <laughs> pussy. Yeah. Get out there. Get out, <laughs> get out there and go harass a chick, you pussy. <laughs> <laughs> you better yell at the first big titted chick you see. <laughs> oh, shit, dude. <laughs> speaking of that, speaking of that, I'll deflect from my <laughs> shitty humbleness. But the... the uh, 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 I heard this on a podcast where it was like behind behind every good man is a good woman deflecting sexual assault. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't see that coming, did you? No, I didn't. That was great. And then so and then when I heard that, I was dying. So I went, I went, uh, fucking, I I, uh, I went over to Jenna and took a selfie with her, dude. And then I sent out a group text saying, "Behind every man is a good woman deflecting sexual assault." <laughs> 
That's awesome, dude. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I thought that was a funny. That was a funny quote. But okay, who do you think about when I say that quote, though? Do you but, think of a, a celebrity of any of any kind? Behind every good man is a good woman deflecting sexual assault. No, nah, I just sexual I, assault charges. No, nah, I, I just laugh at it. I don't think oh, of okay. anybody. Nobody really comes to mind. Oh, okay. There's uh, m- most people are thinking Clinton. Like Bill Clinton comes up, you know, and you think you think Hillary Hill dog. Well, I mean, look at her, dude. I, I I don't even know why the man married her, dude. She's a beast. Exactly. She's a beast. She'll kill for you, dude. <laughs> You know what I mean? She's a fucking. But I, I meant like a she's, beast. Like she's, a, she's ugly as fuck. She's ugly, dude. But she's, she's also a beast when it comes like to murder. And you think <laughs> you think she's loyal to them? I mean, you know, no, no, of course not. No, they're all on Epstein's island, fucking <laughs> having at it. Yeah, she's she's probably fucking taking suggestions from Madonna's book and fucking not. But that's why I think, and you thought this too, because we've talked about it. That's why I think we're. We were more in tune, even when Bill, that Bill Clinton thing, like, who cares if he gets his dick sucked? Yeah. But the, um, uh, when she stood by him, you know, the, and then played Stand By Your Man, all that dumb shit yeah, that yeah, they yeah. do. It's so gay. So dude. fucking fake. And then, and she's got her hand on his shoulder. I go, she does it too. She's in on it. it it's a, it's a thing. Yep. Even as a younger fella, I go, no, she's in on it. Of course. Definitely. Of course she stand by him. They all do it. Yep. Why do we? Why does no one see she, that? She's like, unfortunately, you got caught, hun. Yeah, <laughs> hand on the shoulder, you got caught. Yeah, and you know what's funny? Like Monica Lewinsky, she's just she was how old was she? She was uh, she, early twenties, I yeah, think. Yeah, right? early twenties. Bill Clinton, and then everyone's shit on her, dude. She's a twenty. This is the president. Yeah. What she's supposed to turn down the president? You know, like what the fuck? Like hey, everybody shit on this girl. Uh, you know, I, I mean, I, I just I could. I couldn't really fucking believe how much shit he was getting for that, but he was getting it because he was like, I did not have sexual relations with that woman. Yeah. Well, he has to say that, of yeah, course. Yeah, but yeah. Get, getting a blowjob is, it is sex. I'm, you know, Not according to Bill. Not according to good old Bill. <laughs> good old Billy boy. <laughs> but, but I mean. Good old Bubba. I mean, that, I think that's really why he got so much shit is because he lied to the country, then retracted his lie. If he would have just came out and said, yeah, I did it. I think he would have gotten a lot more respect. Yeah, the bros would have been all over that. Yeah, they would have been like, fuck yeah, dude, I seen the your wife. The crew would have been did. all over that, dude. <laughs> I know why you did. I seen what you're working with. Yeah, but, and and again, back then, too, I was going, I was going, why do we care? But who gives a fuck? Are you running my country good? That's what I care about. Yeah. Not like, where your dick's he going. He should be getting his dick sucked all the time. He really like, should. He should have fucking multiple he's the, concubines. He's the president. Yeah. Why do yeah. we care? This is so stupid. Yeah, he's not the leader of fucking North Korea, fucking little tiny girls and We're shit, We're so dude. obsessed with people's sexual proclivities yeah. in this country. Well, nowadays, especially because everything sexual-based is a fucking conundrum, dude. It's it's a fucking puzzle of just fuckery. Right, but, it, but I mean, look, that can... And let's, let's bring it back the other way, too, where it's like... Like gay marriage, like who gives a fuck? Nah, we got bigger problems. Yeah, who gives a shit? I don't give a shit. <laughs> yeah. I don't. I don't. Like we talked about when we were kids, when it first came out, the whole gay marriage thing. At first, I was like, I don't know, man. What do you think? And you're like, good. They should pair up and be miserable like but the rest yeah, of be us. Fucking go ahead and get <laughs> and was, get and, raped in the courts. And I, and I was like, <laughs> you know what? I never thought about it that way. Now I feel better about myself. Yeah. Who gives a fuck? We got a country to run. Yeah. Who gives a fuck about? You know? Gay people getting married. Yeah, let's talk about the trillions of dollars missing. That's what I want to. Ah, no, let's let's deflect. <laughs> no, gay marriage, <laughs> abortion. Yeah, let's yeah. deflect. Oh, look, look, this guy that works at the Pentagon's in a dress. Yeah, <laughs> hey, hey, uh, but another seven trillion went missing. Another wag the dog, uh, dude. Oh, what if those fucking suitcases he was taking was full of cash? Probably, and they're just like. He's stealing clothes. Yeah, he's stealing suitcases. That, not taxpayers' yeah, dollars. No, no, not the taxpayers' dollar that we were trying to steal. He just intercepted. Ooh. Yeah, because they couldn't say. Yeah. <laughs> it would it be cold, yeah, hard yeah, cash he's, like that? He's stealing empty suitcases. Yeah. I'm sure of it. Dude, is that what they're saying? The empty suitcases? Yeah, they're <laughs> saying he was just stealing bags. But mm. what's inside those bags, I don't know. Yeah, what's inside the bag? No one's asking. What's inside the box? Yeah. <laughs> what's in the bag, you cross dresser? <laughs> Holy, you bald fruitcake. <laughs> Holy Christ. Yeah. I never thought of See, that's another wag the dog. They're all wag the dogs. Yeah, They're all dude, fucking. There's so many. Hey, look over here. Hey, hey, yep. hey, look over here. Yep. 
hey, this is important. Doesn't this piss you off? Well, unfortunately, we're missing more money. Hey, you know what? Again, I ain't hating the game. If someone, uh, Justin, if Justin was like, hey, I just figured out a way to steal fucking trillions of dollars uh, out of the Pentagon, I'd be like, uh, let me know how I can help. I'm on board, but yeah. uh, leave my name out of it. I'd be like, <laughs> let me know how yeah. I can help. Hell yeah. I'll do jail time. Trillions of dollars, I'll do jail time. No, but see, that's the get fuck, me out. That's the fucked up part is nobody's doing jail time over this. No, we just forget. Yeah. We go. We, we here's how we forget. We go. Hey, did you hear the trillions of dollars are missing? Yeah. Anyways, how's the kids? Hey, and yeah. uh, well, all of a sudden, uh, Ukraine's really important. All of a sudden, nobody every American cares about, about Ukraine. Nobody give a fuck about Ukraine, dude. Yeah. yeah. Now they're like, oh, they're being oppressed by the Russians. Uh, well, guess what? There's all that shit going on all over the world. Hey, but now you just want to focus on this one group? Yeah, I mean, if you care about oppression, you know, you can check out some of these you other countries. You can check out yeah. some of the North Korean shit, dude. I mean, fuck. Uh, yeah, North, I think, North Korea, Africa, like all this shit, man. They, yeah, dude, you know, they're pretty horrible, dude. Yeah. Don't. But also, because the, the people that are, get real like, we stand for Ukraine. Hey, uh, you stand for nothing. No. You stand for nothing. Exactly. I've seen you. Yeah. You do nothing. The money that you donated to the Ukraine was the bumper sticker you put on your fucking car. Yeah, holding the flag does, does nothing. Oh, yeah. that That's going to change minds. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, if you really want to do something, it's like it's like all these uh, all these people are like, oh, these poor homeless. Yeah, they're right there. Go yeah. ahead and, and save some. Yeah, go, go you, ahead. You have a ton of money. Go ahead and try to help them. That's man. like the uh, the celebrity that, that's like, if you just donate a dollar. You hey, got more money than I do, bitch. Hey, you're a multi-millionaire. Yeah. You could feed some of these guys. Yeah, I can yeah. barely afford to feed myself and my whole family. You, on the other hand, sit on piles of cash when you go to sleep. Here's one, dude. Here's here's one, and then we'll we'll do a shot and close out. Here's one. Now, this is a, uh, there's a porn star name. I think her name is Jessie Deluxe or Jessie something. I okay. can't remember her name. Anyway, she was in a horrible car accident. And they put out a post to uh, donate uh, for her recovery. Please help. Here's her, here's her fucking PayPal or whatever, right? The don't, Did her vagina get hurt? Well, well, but and, and they're sending <laughs> pictures of her. And, and who posted it was uh, No Effects. Fat Mike from No Effects posted it. And there's millions. I had to read the messages. There's millions of messages. Goes, Mike, you're rich. Why don't you, why don't you help her out? Why don't you go ahead and help her out? Yeah, I've seen your house parties, dude. Hey, bro. Yeah. Hey, bro. Like, yeah. y'all got a couple bucks. By the way, she's a huge porn star. She don't have any cash, right? W what are we donating to? Exactly. Now, when I say we, not me, but obviously, I, yeah. But what I'm saying is that I had to read the message because that's my first thought. Is like, why don't you? Why don't you just do it? Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. So it's like, you know, I understand. Maybe he's got overhead. He ain't got time. But I've seen super wealthy people post hey let's donate to this yeah you could just handle it and that's a kick in the dick when you see this millionaire like hey you guys need to help this person right here fuck you do it yourself yeah because by the way and i've said this forever these these charities the money mostly goes to the employees of the charity exactly it's not going to the charity <laughs> only 20 percent goes to the charity for only a dollar a day you can save this child's life no the fuck i can't because you're fucking taking 90 cents out of that dollar and that kid's only gonna yeah. get a dime hey it's been it's been 15 years buddy you're on the same commercial <laughs> give the kid a sandwich <laughs> and that same kid from 15 years ago, he looks the same. <laughs> Get the camera out of his face and put a hamburger there. Yeah, what was what was that one fat bitch that was going all over the world back in the yeah, days? There was two of them. Yeah, there was the fat chick. Yep. and I don't remember her name. And then there was the old guy. Yeah, yeah, with the beard, yeah. white hair and the beard. But the fat chick, you're like, what a disgusting human being. You're fat as fuck. Obviously well fed. Going over to a country where there's starving people. You're a multimillionaire. And you're trying to fucking get me to cry for them, Argentina? I ain't going to do that. Yeah, if it, just a dollar a day. Yeah, no. No. No, a dollar a day is going for your Big Macs, bitch, because I've seen how big you are. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, uh, yeah, yeah. those things are, those things are, now here, here's what gets me, too. I'm going to, I'm going to, uh, I got talked into one. Now, this is somebody I've worked with uh, in the studio, and his dog was sick, blah, 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 right? And I, I really mm. felt. So I uh, uh, sent him a hundy. I was like, I was like, look, let, let, let's all throw him. Let's get that because I know he, he didn't have any cash. Mm -hmm. So I sent sent him a hundred. Let's get that dog looked at and, and things like that. Well, put the dog down. So the dog got put down. Do I get my hundy back or you know like what's, you know what I mean? Like, do I feel like, yeah, you know, I I feel like now that uh it's all said and done with, you might want to save up that money and throw it back my way. 
Like, I, I don't know, because I, I think about that. I, you hear because then, then there's a post that we had to put the dog down, it, like almost the, very close to when I sent that money. <laughs> and I and, was like. And you know what? I'm such an asshole. My comment on his little post would have been like, hey, a bullet's only 38 cents. How about that 99? And, uh, well, I mean, but if it's like, uh, uh, you know, cancerous removal, I'm, I'm 100%. I'll do that shit for my dog. 100%. I don't give a fuck what it costs. I'll sell everything I got to take that. I'm not going to. You know, if you love that dog, then do what you can. Yep. And I knew he didn't have that, that much cash. But anyways, I just had that thought. And yeah. that's how I feel about these charities. It's like, is this money going where we think it's going? Definitely not. I don't think so. And it's constantly being proven that it isn't. And it's funny that, you know, that there is, all, I mean, it's obviously a fact. There is starving children all over the fucking world. And here. <laughs> and that's my point. Is yeah. Why the fuck are the, all these programs about everybody everywhere else? What about our people here? Right. Right. You know, shouldn't we give a fuck about them first and then care about the rest of the world? Right. I, uh, but haven't we all, like everyone I know have said that. Yep. You know, anyone that's like, we need to save the starving children in Africa. I go, oh, why? I got some people that could use some, some dollars. Some stuff here. Yeah, I yeah. got some people that just could right up the street. And right. guess what? I don't have to donate to your charity. I could just give them fucking money right here. I could here. walk right up and give them a sandwich. I could fucking yeah. take them over to a place, you know, one of them taco trucks and fucking feed them, give them some fucking cash for later so yeah. when you get hungry again, we can do that. Yeah. But. You know, there's a guy online that I follow. I think I've talked about him before, but yeah, he, he poses as a... As a uh, as a uh, homeless guy, and oh, when yeah. it, when a, no, no, but when a nice person comes up to him and, and gives him five hundred dollars or whatever, he gives him a lot. He gives him like ten G's. Oh no shit! Yeah, he's yeah. got he's loaded. Hell yeah! So and then he'll ask him, "Why did you, why did you come up and help me?" And then the guy will be like, "Well, you looked like you needed some help, so I wanted to get yeah. you some help." And he's like, "We need more you." And so he gives him $10,000, and the guy's like, I can't take that. And I'm screaming, take it! Yeah, dude, <laughs> dude, that's that's tax-free. <laughs> yeah, you, you know? take that money, dude. Take that money, baby. But, uh, I mean, it's a great message, but let's be honest. Most of the homeless dudes, yeah. you know, they, yeah. yeah, they're not there because they are, had a little bad luck. No, yeah, they're there yeah. because they choose to be most of them. That, most of them are from there. From what I've seen, because I've talked to a few that live on my street, and like, yeah. you know, what's going on with you, man? I talk to everybody, you know, I don't give a fuck. And most of the things that I hear is, I'm tired of working for this corrupt ass government that just takes, 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 and want to, wants to work hey, me until uh, I'm fucking old and dead, hey. and then they're still gonna take. Hey man, uh, and I'm like, I feel you, dude. Here's I feel a you on that. Here's a fiver, bro. Hey, if you if you give me that spiel, <laughs> yep. I'll give you a five. Fuck yeah, for sure, definitely. Give you a high five. And <laughs> <laughs> here's yeah. a Lincoln for you, buddy. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let, let's do a shot and we'll get out of here, man. It's a good cast. Let me get that. Uh, hi, Sparrow. You um, done with your bones already? Damn. <laughs> here, Mash here open that up, dude. Let me grab that. I, I, that's a brand new bottle. Tell them we're doing Irish whiskey, baby. Just like God intended. God's whiskey. Yes, sir. Tell them we're doing is God's whiskey. <laughs> it's Jesus' vagina. <laughs> <laughs> Lord, forgive him, for he knows not what he says. <laughs> Lord, are you listening? <laughs> Please don't humble me anymore. Yeah, Lord. Yeah, this is the, this is the message of the podcast. <laughs> is uh, I, I was thinking uh, while doing the podcast, I'm, I'm uh, I was gonna do the podcast. Justin thinks all rappers are gay, or <laughs> <laughs> I'm with it. Or or please stop humbling me. <laughs> no more humble. Yeah, no no more humbling. <laughs> We're done being humbled. Can I be an asshole some more? Oh. I got the name. We've paid our dues. We've paid our dues. I like I like Justin. Oh, that I'm down with it, dude. It's funny. <laughs> yeah. Cheers, brother. Down the head. Ah, wait. <laughs> <laughs>